Okay, looking happy? Now, again, you didn't have to draw a diagram, they gave you one, right? But every time you draw it, it gives you some insight into what's going on and how the shape works and how everything fits together, okay? Our first question is to get a volume, okay? Now, you know, everyone knew, pretty much everyone in the grade knew, I had to multiply something, right? But the question is, there's so many numbers here, what do you multiply by, okay? So, do you want to go? Well, uh, what I did, I got... Uh, 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 equals 18, and then 18 times 2 equals 36. Okay, now, let's think about this, right? There is multiplication here, but let's think about what these numbers are, right? This 3, it's a height. 4 is this base here. These are all lengths, aren't they? Right? Now, you can't add lengths to get a volume, because if you add, you know, this length plus this length, another length, yeah, you'll get a perimeter, won't you? Right? It'll go all the way around the shape, okay? So addition would happen if we had like different parts, this volume that we needed to piece together. But in this case, it's all just the one piece. So I need to look at this and remember, this is, um, what kind of shape is this? It even gives you, uh, they don't give you the name, do they? It, there's a triangle, right? But it's a triangular something. Good, it's a prism. Now do you remember, <laughs> we sort of flaunted danger that time, when I brought in a prop to help you remember, why is it called a prism? So what, the prop was a, a saw, right? What, what does that have to do with this? Oh, so cool. Yeah, good. So, so the idea is prisoners are taking a cross section, so sawing across. Now, have a look. Where does the cross section belong? Which way does it go? Do I do I cut this way? No. Why not? Why can't I cut this way? Because it won't measure the shape that you need on the base. So yeah, yeah, you start to get it. So for instance, if I cut this way, this way, this way, this way, what am I going to get? Oh, wow. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of sizes. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of different sizes. I'll get a rectangle here, see that? And then I'll get a smaller rectangle and a smaller rectangle, and they'll be they'll get lower and lower and lower. Different. Okay? But they're all different, that's the problem, right? So it's not a prism that way. I need to soar across in a way that gives me the same shape every time, like a like a loaf of bread. You remember that? Okay. So which way do I cut? Cut in half. Hmm. Now I can cut it in half a lot of different ways. Lengthways, it's like, well, which no, no, way right. is this? I mean, like, I mean, like, okay, all right. So I'm going to draw one in for you. Okay, here's one. That's exactly what I mean. So ah, I can read your mind, Jacob. There you go. Well, it's a bit. Whoa, there you go. Okay. So you can see, again, the diagram, how helpful it is. Because look, look, here's one cross section, the one on the front. Okay. You got one on the back, and then you got this one in the middle. They're all the same. Do you see that? So that's what we've got to work out the area of. Right. Okay. The volume is going to be, what is the area of that cross section, that triangle? What's the area of a triangle? The whole triangle the um, say this triangle on the front, because remember, it's a prism, so they should all be the same, at least fingers crossed, right? <laughs> What's the area of a triangle? Half. Half, yep. half times half? base height. Half times base, which is? The four. The four, very good. Times height, which in this case is three. Good. So there you go, that's the area of the cross section. Okay. Wow, well, that's the wrong. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that was the first bit. And then you multiply by one more thing to get the whole volume, right? Since we're cutting it this way, you're going to get a slice here, 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 here. This is the dimension we're cutting along. So it'll be by six. That's what we're after. Okay? Yep. I thought we were doing six if you cut it in half. I'm not just cutting it in half. I'm cutting it all these different spots. It's just, I'm not drawing one on there so because my like diagram will be a mess. Yeah, no, that's right. I mean, I'm going to have one here as well. And then another one here, I'm going to have a whole bunch all the way across. Okay, so you can see my triangular slices of bread. Okay, see what's going on there? Go make me a sandwich. All right, now, <laughs> this number here, half by four by three? Half by, sorry, That's half by 12. Oh. Half of 12 is six. 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 Which coincidentally is also 36. It's a volume, so what are my units? We just looked at this. Seven minutes cubed, very good. Cool, Alex. There you go. Man. Okay. Volume always cubed. Volume is always cubed. Okay, because it's always three dimensions. Three dimensions. Okay. Alright, the surface area, we're gonna have to do some more drawings. So this is that was part A. Let's have a go, shall we? It's worth mentioning by the way, there's lots of different nets you can draw. For instance, this is not the only net of a cube. Right? For instance, like see these bits, right? You would fold them around, okay? But these sides, they don't have to be there. They can be in other spots, right? So for instance, this this would also be 
Okay. okay. So, yeah, it, it would look a bit trickier to fold, but you could still do it, and that's why some people have different nets. You might be sitting next to someone who's got one that looks different to yours, but that's okay. Right. I'm going to draw the mainstream ones, okay? Going to be a bit anti hipster today. All right, I think most people start with the base, the thing on the bottom, okay? What are its dimensions? Or maybe I should ask, what shape is it? What shape is the base? It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. Good. So what are its dimensions? Four by six. Very good. Four by six. So you're looking down at it, right? Four by six. Is the Does that look right? So this is the base. So I'm looking down at the top, okay? So then what you can do is take this part, this kind of slanted roof bit, I suppose, and then yeah, you, you, un you unhinge it, if you like, so it comes around like this and it becomes flat. Okay. So if I'm looking down at this, it's going to be like so. Alright, again, same question. What are its dimensions? Three. You still get the five same seat. Yeah, very good. So you've got this part here which has now come out onto the floor. Okay. So you've got a five there which is why I've drawn it longer. Okay. Now from here, you can, most people have stopped here, so let's go back further. What's going to happen? What else comes off the base? It's not just this slanted roof. What else is coming off the base? Yeah. The back panel of the base. Okay, so I've got this part. I'll fold that one down as well. And what are its dimensions? Three. 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 Five, six. Three. And these are all six here. Good. Okay, we've got all the rectangular bits. What's missing? The triangles. Okay, where should I put them? The middle ones. Yeah, most, most people have put them in here, which is fine. You don't have to, but. And it's a good spot for it. So it looks kind of like this, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Now, I need some dimensions here too. See how if I folded this back up, this side is going to match up to this side, isn't it? They're both three. And it's all, it's all symmetrical. Okay. Happy times? Look good? Yeah. All right. Now that you have all the pieces, that was actually the hard part. Most people struggle to get the wrong answer because they missed a piece, right? So getting it all out like that, that's the easiest way to make sure you don't miss anything, okay? Now, have a look at this, right? See this middle part? You built it by putting in three rectangles, right? When you put three rectangles together, what's the whole shape? Rectangle. It's a rectangle, thank you. So therefore, I can work out this whole rectangle all at once, save a bit of time, right? The width here is six. So this is my surface area, right? So six times, what's the height? Oh, wait. No. Yes. 12. Yes. Five, four, nine. three, so it's nine <laughs> plus three, which is 12. Very good. Okay. So now I've done that whole rectangle. What should I add to that? What should I add? The side of the triangle. Okay. How many triangles do I have? Two, Two of them. Right? And now here's the great thing, right? You already worked out the triangle, didn't you? Look, here he is, right? That's the area of the triangle, it's the cross section, yeah? Okay. So you can just pop that in. Half times four times three. There he is, right there. Okay. So you got six by 12, which is, who's good with the times tables? Six times two, 72, very good. Plus double six, we can all do that. That's 12 which gives you a four. It's a surface area, so the units should be? Surface squared. Squared, very good. Well done. Ta-da.